A Bridgeport woman whose son died of a fentanyl overdose a year ago is now using his legacy to try and save lives. Our Frank Recchia has the story. He had four kids that love him. Hortensia Rangatho of Bridgeport fighting back tears while talking about her son, 32-year-old Rafael Casas Novas, who she says died of a fentanyl overdose one year ago. Reminders of her son are everywhere, like the bird that bears his name. Getting back into the simple routine of life, she says, has been a very painful process for everybody who loved him. He had a family. He had cousins. He had uncles, and especially his kids. It was very emotional. It was one year ago this week, Rangifo says, that things really got out of hand with her son. She called police to say he had violated the terms of his parole, in her words, in order to save his life. He had taken the wrong direction. Tragically, when Rafael got out of jail three months later, Rengifo says he went right back to using and became one of several people in Bridgeport to die from the same toxic batch of fentanyl. People like Rafael should still be with us. Senator Richard Blumenthal at Liberation Programs in Bridgeport today announcing a $150,000 grant for the Addiction Treatment Center in memory of Raphael. We've had to pivot with this fentanyl epidemic. Chief Clinical Outreach Officer Joanne Montgomery, who knew Raphael. We're out there trying to reach people. This is a cooker kit. He's with her team on the front lines so that others don't meet Raphael's fate, passing out not only Narcan, this will turn purple. But also fentanyl testing strips, so users know if a different drug like pot is laced with fentanyl. Montgomery says the dollars presented in memory of Raphael today will help ensure other families don't suffer the pain his mom is forced to endure. If we do more, we can save more lives. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. The grant money going in part to family-focused recovery services.